Hey everybody, it's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. All right guys, you ready for this one? <laughs> it's the third party situation conversation. Now just a disclaimer as I put on every single week, this is not for people that are trying to bust up a happy relationship, okay? This is not for my stalkers. If that is you, this is not your video, okay? This is for people who are in a relationship that may be infiltrated by a third party. And by third party, I mean there could be somebody dating two people or has two people in their life. Um, you could be on the outside of this looking in. You could be on the inside of this looking out, having two people not quite sure what to do with um, the situation. Also, third party can mean anything, guys. This can be a, you know, meddling mother-in-law. This could be a, you know, family friend who's just a pain in the ass and is like busting up your relationship, okay? So a third party can really mean anything. It can even be worse. Work. So um, let's see what the cards have to say this week for the third party situation conversation. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. Third party sitch. Third party sitch. Let's see what's going on from the third parties. Doing a massive shuffle because I know, you guys, I know this week has been a freaking brutal week for third party folks. And for all of you that have booked personal readings in this situation, thank you so much for trusting me. I hope you guys are all doing amazing because I know exactly what this feels like so it's tough all right so now we have god of course well, we got a libra juggling two people okay um it, it doesn't have to be a libra it can be uh, just somebody trying to find balance here okay trying to make a decision now libras i love you guys you know that but you're also indecisive so definitely could be a libra trying to figure shit out okay trying to make a decision um but it doesn't have to be somebody's just trying to balance out a situation do whatever is fair and balanced here okay so, let's see, let's see. Third party, third party, third party situation. What do my people need to know for the third parties? Because I'm happy, I don't know who is listening to that Pharrell song or was, but um, trying to cheer yourself up. But I hear you, girl, I hear you. All right, let me see. All right. The Hierophant could be dealing with a Taurus. Wow, oh, these car my, my spirit guides are just seriously on fire today. Okay, this is going to be a good day. All righty, all righty, all righty. So Hierophant, Three of Cups, Justice, Four of Swords. Some of you guys have taken yourself out of the situation. You could be married or dealing with someone who is married. And we're in a third party. The Magician, we have Aries uh, and Gemini, maybe Virgo too. Let's see, Pisces with the High Priestess. The Tower Reversed. Ace of Wands, wow. <sighs> Just breathe, okay? A lot of confusion here. Somebody has multiple options. They don't know which one to pick, okay? Others of you, you have options. If you're, say, you're on the outside looking in, you're, you know, you're trying to figure out, should I walk away from this situation? Should I stay? Should I give it another chance? What the frick do I do? You know, it's a very difficult situation to be in, and I would venture to say that your person is probably feeling the same way. All right, the Hierophant here. Again, somebody could be married, okay, with the Three of Cups, obviously, in the third-party situation. All right, could be Taurus, could be uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be those signs, though, okay? Um, yeah, Justice reversed. Again, we have Libra out on the table, okay? But we also have somebody considering divorce and not saying anything about it. You could not be talking to this person, okay, with the Four of Swords. It could be no communication going on. Um, the Magician trying to manifest something that they really want, right? And and they really, so, somebody in this situation doesn't know what they really want. You know, they don't know. I mean, if you're on the outside looking in and you walked away from this person, you cut off communication with them, you could just be like, I don't think I want this person anymore. I don't want to be one of many, many options. I'm so tired of fighting for you. You know, you see what I mean? Like fighting for your attention, fighting for your love, fighting for your affection. It's just, oh my God, there's more cards. Hold on. It's just enough, right? Enough, enough. Let me get through these. Now, High Priestess is the Keeper of Secrets, okay? So obviously, if you're in a third party, it's probably a secret relationship that you have going on, okay? The Tower reversed. For some of you guys, the Tower already fell. That means complete and total devastation, destruction. A breakup happened. Uh, again, we have no communication with the Tower. Ending a situation entirely done, or so you thought, okay? Um, God, this is coming up so much. I'm going to have to do... I wasn't going to do mid-months for, for the elements, but I'm going to have to. I just have to do it. I, f I feel drawn to it because I know there's somebody out there listening to this that's going to be like, holy shit, okay? So this person might be coming back in to offer you stability or a new beginning. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But listen, 
the other warning here, the message, I'll clarify it, is that it could be they're, they're, they're coming back to you for sex, okay? The, this is the card. It's phallic. It's, it's you know, we call it the, the D-stick card. So, I mean, it could definitely be sex, okay? Now, I was looking at the cards underneath. Um, oh, my God. You guys are going to flip out. Okay, some of you guys have ended a relationship or somebody in this situation has ended a relationship. Six of Cups reversed. This can also indicate somebody coming back from the past, all right? But when it's reversed like that, I would say more so if it's like this, somebody's coming back. When it's reversed like this, I really feel like somebody walked away, but guess why they walked away? Because they didn't want the confusion. They didn't want to be one of many options, right? They wanted their King of Cups and guess what they're fucking getting? Soulmate. You felt it. You felt it in your bones, right? You may be really upset and sad right now, especially if you had to end the situation, but you know, it can go one of two ways. You have walked away from something that was not serving you. Somebody wasn't treating you well. Somebody wasn't making you a priority. And there's somebody right at your damn heels that is absolutely going to be making you a priority. Okay. They will not treat you like that. Like you're an option. Holy cow, guys. Let's clarify. So the Hierophant... Mm, you know, I don't know. I get this wacky feeling, though, that somebody's coming back. But you guys be careful. You know, if they come back and act like they want to repair the relationship, please be certain it's not just for sex, okay? Because you don't want that. All right? So, again, we've got divorce, ten of cups reversed, somebody feeling very unhappy or miserable, wanting commitment but not being able to get it from this person. Um, like, feeling just unfulfilled, like something major is missing. Three of cups, king of swords. Again, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here as it relates to third party, but somebody could have found out about a, th a third party situation. You could have found out your partner was cheating. The third party could have been exposed. King of Swords is very clear and communicative, so it might be telling the truth about this. Temperance reverse, clarifying justice reverse. We have Sagittarius on the table now, but temperance is all about healing, patience, that type of thing. And um, it's either, you know, when she's reversed like that, I feel like there's just a lot of damage that's been done here, or 